Yeah, I promise. We will take that into consideration, okay? Slice! I got it. Hey, yo! Slice! Wait, is he, man? Are you okay, Bob? Am I okay? Yeah. You the boss man, right? You're supposed to know everything that's going on around here. Uh, yeah. I, so you I, got about two seconds to let me know where Slice Boogie is. Okay. I'm looking for him. I, I don't know where Slice is. Two seconds is up. I know he's here because he left this for you. That's all I know. Papa, Papa, what you doing, man? You can't hit Johnny in the head with a crutch and put Bro, him in the trash can. Boss, you and I both know what I got coming is a numbers game. Where's Slice? We need everybody on deck. Bro, I know this. I've been looking for Slice just like you. I know you got the institution, but it's a bodega street fight. Yeah, they got the numbers. We got the hardware. You've been in this before. You won the championship in a bodega street fight, Bubba. It's our fight. It's our turf. And I know Slice, he, he not in his head right now. He's coming after the world championship. Somebody's talking to him or something, whispering behind doors. I don't know what's going on, but Slice ain't been the same since he was a wild card. But that's who Slice is, a wild card. And I know right now, you rough him. But he's gonna be there. You ain't gotta look for him. Just get ready. Focus. Slice gonna show up. I know he is. Yeah. I'm gonna get ready. Wrestling, Todd Kentley, James Kincaid, Gilbert Corsi. Week three of Golden Opportunity. Have we saved the best for last? Perhaps two originals of the Unite Wrestling Network in Bateman and champion Kevin Martinson collide for the Heritage title, but there's a whole lot more in store. Yeah, a Bodega Street Fight for the Television Championship. A Bodega Street Fight, that's how Papo Esco won the TV Championship before. Will it be the match that finally ends Jack Banning's reign of terror? It's called Golden Opportunity. <laughs> We're now going to see who gets it. Slice Boogie is in there. Zicky Dice is in there. Jordan Clearwater is in there. We know Danny Limelight retained the title last week with the help of Clearwater, yeah. but I gotta wonder what is going on in the bodega with Slice Boogie keeping this title shot a secret. Clearwater finds himself in the finals with two wild cars, and things are gonna get real wild as it's time to fight on. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Heritage Championship! Get set for action here, and here you see the reigning, defending United Heritage Champion, BHK, Kevin Martinson, but perhaps more mind games by the main man, Bateman. It's very odd for the champion to hit the ring first. Well, I mean, Kevin Martinson's kind of an odd duck in his own right. Maybe he wants to come out here so Bateman can't get the jump on him. Well, we've seen Martinson get the jump on the likes of R3 in the past by being out there. I apologize for the interruption. Kevin, you are scheduled to defend the Heritage Championship right now against Bateman. And I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, and it's infuriating, but Bateman didn't show. On top of that, he sent me a message about an hour ago saying he would face you whenever he wanted on his terms. Oh, that's okay with you. And he also sent an opponent in his place to face you. No doubt to probably soften you up. As far as I'm concerned, it should not be a title match, but this is golden opportunity. And in the eyes of the committee, every title should be on the line. So Kevin, if you're up for it, if you still are willing to defend that title, I'll make it official. All right then, without further ado, your opponent, one of the stars of Derby City Wrestling, the Dan Ringer, Aaron Williams. Wow, uh-oh, trouble and chaos. Those are the words that describe Aaron Williams in Derby City Wrestling, guy. He is known as the Dead Ringer, and he's half of the reason that we haven't seen Willie Mack in United Wrestling for a couple months. And you know, if Mark Martins is not gonna back down from the challenge, and I gotta believe that it was the plan 
for Bateman, the, the scheduled challenger here, that this would not be a title match because yes. Bateman has gone to extreme lengths to try and protect the title reign of Martinson to get his shot. But uh, the, the joke might be on him. Yeah, it might backfire on him here. But yeah, certainly unpredictable as golden opportunity can be. He takes yet another turn. Oh, look at that, swing with the cane. Martinson able to duck and able to collide. I don't think Kevin Martinson cares much who he's fighting. Not one to back down from a battle as BHK. Cross body there early, oh. and the sunglasses are off, and Martinson, oh, the champ's got right him off. off, and he's going to work, and Martinson, BHK, hasn't missed a beat. Welcome to the improv. Yeah, dead ringer. Looking dead to rights right now, rocking and reeling in the corner. Oh, took his eye off the ball, did Martinson. Now, and dead, Williams made him pay. Dead ringer Aaron Williams has yeah. been more accustomed to tag team action at Derby City Wrestling, where he teams with the likes of Lord Crew, who is outlawed here because he was sent packing by Rob McKnight and Levi Shapiro and company. Yeah, so Williams does team with Lord Crew, a guy that you guys know very well around here, but I want to go back to Mac went missing on a night that he was supposed to take on Williams and Lord Crew in a tag oh, wow. team match. Williams has educated feet, guys. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Some teeth might have just went missing from Martinson's head there. All we know is that Crew and Williams said they had a plan and that Mac never showed up. Bottom line, uh, that Martin should just watch his back because yeah. Williams cannot be trusted. Dangerous customer is Aaron uh, Williams. Well, I'll tell you who's real dangerous from anywhere, he'll hit you from all angles, is the Heritage Champion. Martin gonna fly outside from the inside, goes BHK. We gotta take a break, Heritage title continues after this. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Welcome back, everyone. The champion perch, the champion delivers missile drop kick into the cover, looking to retain. And uh, you can see no mas pantalones, but he still has the title. But will he after this? Pinpoint accuracy from Martinson, not enough to get three, but he's in control right now. Kevin Martinson taking on the dead ringer, Aaron Williams, who was sent in by Bateman. It doesn't surprise me one bit that like, Bateman and Aaron Williams have history and are, are apparently friends. Those two are cut from the same cloth. Williams comes out here dressed like a hitman and trying to live up to that. DDT spiked, spiked him, yes indeed. and. Let's, let's talk about the martial arts expertise of, of the dead ring. Yeah, Aaron Williams knows how to fight. There's no better way to say it. He has an extensive martial arts background, jiu-jitsu, kempo, harando. And when you take that combat knowledge and put it with his propensity for chaos, guys, it really makes Aaron Williams one of the most dangerous guys on the Derby City yeah. roster. Will Williams says that wrestling is a violent art, and he fancies himself something of a Picasso in there, and he's looking to paint his masterpiece and become Heritage Champion. Well, if this continues, the champion's going to look like a Picasso painting because his face 
His yeah. facial features are going to be rearranged. Yeah. Absolutely decimated right now. And using, using that tie. Uh, let's be clear. Uh, Aaron Williams can use that tie. He's using it as a whip right now. I've also seen him choke people with it. He's not afraid to use that cane either as a weapon. Whatever he can get his hands on, it's all legal to Aaron Williams. And we got to mention here, guys, Aaron Williams has mixed it up with the best of the best of the United Wrestling Network. He got in the ring with the likes of reigning world champion Danny Limelight in tag team competition. In fact, in that tag team match, Aaron Williams and Lord Crew defeated Jake Something and Danny Limelight. Oh man, what a shot. The beard's not gonna protect you from that one, James. No, not at all. And down to his knees and reeling is Martinson and he could be out into the cover. New Heritage Champion incoming. No, not yet. And what a plan this that could possibly backfire for Bateman. When Bateman sent Aaron Williams into this fight, he thought it was gonna be a non-title contest. But the committee, Johnny LaCosto saying it's golden opportunity. The title's on the line. Yeah, good, good on LaCosto asserting his authority there giving the people what they want, a heritage title match. It is living up to the name of that title right now for sure. And in doing that, usurping the, the game plan yes. of Bateman and the mind games of Bateman. But I'll tell you, if Martinson keeps eating shots like this, he's not going to know if he's a space cop or a member of Vermin or both. He is getting waylaid, but had the presence of mind to counter that one. Halt, I am Martinson. He caught the leg of Williams. No, oh, but he just ate another shot. Nasty Bring stuff there by the dead ringer and the championship yeah. ring to Mike Martinson. Might be dead to rights here, swing and a miss. However, looking for the oh. German suplex, but another pinpoint, pinpoint strike. Guys, yeah. I, should make, I should make mention, we talked about the striking background, the martial arts background of Aaron Williams, but he's been in that square yeah. circle for 20 years. He is a battle-tested ring veteran. What a bulldog, the unorthodox style. Kevin Martinson coming back into play there, the neck breaker over the rope. Could be a pendulum swinger here in the momentum. Ring general, yes, for Williams. EHK uses every ounce of that ring. You saw that bulldog into the second rope, and that really set the tone for his offensive onslaught. But he's eaten a lot of punishment, Gilbert, and not immediately able to capitalize. Yes, yeah, slow to the press is Kevin Martinson. But when you talked about Martinson's offense, is there an, a more innovative athlete on the United roster? TK, you've, it may be ever. You've been here a long time. The answer is no. The answer yeah. is no. And he'd rather throw you than know you. And here you see James. The innovation sensation Kevin Martinson is in control right now, looking to have another successful defense. He's been such a great pair to champion. He just, he just bellowed out the name Bateman. Looking to finish off Williams and send a message right back to the main man. Looking for the brain buster here. That's a weapon of both Martinson and Bateman. Nice counter by the dead ringer. Oh, oh. Look out here. Stunning first. Oh, what's it got in mind? It's the shot you don't see coming the most devastating. And I'll tell you, Williams will for the lane. Oh. Steps through, STO into the cover. No. Just able to get the shoulder up was Martinson. Williams can scarcely believe it. Gilbert STO, and he was about to go to the pay window. Half a second away from becoming the United Heritage Champion. What's the dead ringer? Well, Could he get it done here with both legs hooked? And another near fall for Aaron Williams. Variation of the Mishinoku driver there. And I got to mention, although this is not the matchup we expected, this really typifies what the United Wrestling Network Summer Showcase is all about. Yeah, a absolutely. match between a fixture in Derby City and a mainstay in the United in uh, Championship Wrestling. And the unpredictability that we have come to expect from Golden Opportunity, and these two are having an instant classic right now. Williams and he, taking his time right here, now. Gilbert? What's he going for here? Uh, well, it's hard to get inside Aaron Williams' mind, but usually when garments start coming off, he's beginning to sense victory. And perhaps it is Aaron Williams who is trying now to put the Heritage Champion away. Perched on top from double feet. Nobody at the bottom of the well for Williams. Martinson charging in, maybe rushed in too soon. Williams was lying in wait, but so was Martinson. Drapes that arm over the top rope. Big time counter. Yep, Martinson now perched the champion. He's flying both miss off the top, and I'll tell you, Williams didn't miss with that big swinging shot. Even he felt the effects of that one. And I think he it may have got his hand or his, at least his thumb caught the wrong way. Gave Look out here, in the opening. He needed for the brain buster. Planted. 
Oh, he gonna uh, gonna hedge his bets. Not electing to go for the cover. Now Martinson up top. Execution style knee by BHK from the stratosphere. Retains in a hard fought battle. Here is your winner and still United Heritage Champion, Kevin Martinson. Not the match we expected, but a successful title defense. Nonetheless, BHK continues to live in the outer echelons of space. Incredible stuff. We'll be back. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. All right, I'm standing by with Marty Bell, who was on commentary last week for our match between Savannah Stone and Zeta Zing. Marty, how are you feeling right now as we head towards the United Wrestling Women's World Championship Tournament? I was so impressed with both ladies. They are the future of this division, the future of professional wrestling. When I retire, the business is in great hands, but I'm not going anywhere. They are the future and I am the president. When I become the first ever women's world champion this company has seen, nadie me va a poder parar. No one is getting in my way. There you have it, let's head back to the ring. Welcome to the bodega, it's the Boricua Savior. Ain't nobody great as me. I made your league, I do this for La Familia. Title get action familiar. here at Golden Opportunity. And Papoesco isn't coming alone. He's got some weapons for this bodega street fight. And here we see the United World Television Champion the benevolent one, Jack Banning, and guys, he looks as if he is dressed for a fight, and he better be. Yeah, he is dressed for a street fight, to be sure, and I, I think, if, I, if my eyes don't deceive me, yeah, that, that's that straight jacket. I mean, we, I mean, we know where Jack Banning hails from, his background, yeah, he's got a straight jacket that he is bringing to this bodega street fight. I heard that Jack Banning sleeps in that straight jacket. It's like a swap. Is that true? Well, he was once forced to wear it in a last man statty match with uh, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater early in the career of Clearwater. So there's a lot of history in that. And Banning has made a lot of history as the television champion. Let's go over the rules for this Bodega Street Fight. All right, that about sums it up. Like, what what are are <laughs> TK, I was like, enlighten me. I didn't know there were any rules. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship, and it is a Bodega Street Fight! <laughs> Introducing first the challenger, representing the Bodega, weighing in at 301 pounds, the King Fat Boy, Popo Esco! And introducing his opponent, 
from Shady Pines. Weighing in at 213 pounds, he is the United Television Champion, Benevolent Jack Banning! God. Let's catch it. Sickening. Guys, let's catch everybody up here. Banning had offered Papo Esco a TV title shot as he never received his rematch after losing the TV title in 2022. But in true Banning style, that kind gesture from the benevolent one was corrupt. The institution attacked backstage. Papo came in less than 100%, and Banning exploited it to retain the title. Thus, the rematch now in a Bodega Street fight. Yes, not only attacked backstage, but Banning hit him right in the back of the head, right in the brainstem with the title. A shot that he would repeat in that matchup, allowing him to retain. Yeah, keep in mind, though, this type of match is what delivered the TV title to Papo Esco in the past, but. I shudder to think what Banning can do in a match that has essentially no rules. He's cruel enough already, but right now, Papo Esco in control. Would love to see him pry that TV title off the waist of Banning like he's prying that shirt off of him right now. And I don't want to brush over what you said, James. Oh when my God. Papo Esco became the television champion, it was in a Bodega Street fight, correct? Yes. So the only, this, is yes. the, this is the way he gets the job done. This is taking him to glory before. Yeah, it's not about winning. It's not about winning pretty if you're in the bodega. It's win any way you can, whether it's ugly. Oh, look, Banning now going going to that. Papo Esco is one and zero oh in a bodega street fight. That is the one and only bodega street fight we have had until this episode. Now Banning oh, utilizing God. that corner, and it's anything goes in this one, guys. There's no. Disqualification, no count oh out. All weapons are legal. He's Popo's got a uh, folding chair, sends it in there. And Popo brought this trash can full of weapons where apparently at the bodega you can get anything you want and a lot of things to dish out a beat down. See? I, I, right. I think I think I think Banning pump kicked Popo into the oh, hook on no. that turbo. Oh, oh, no. Esco's been busted open. He's wearing the crimson mask. That's and you go right into the eye. It's gonna affect his vision. Uh, you never want to be busted open, but certainly not in the opening going to the contest. No. The bell rang a couple of minutes ago. Popo's bell rung as well. This oh, is oh. along the lines of, of nothing we have seen here in the United Wrestling Network. Esco oh. is busted open in the opening seconds, and he's got a chain, guys. Anything goes again, as legal as a wrist lock in this one. And Bodega using that size to get Manny and crush him in the corner. God, that is just a nasty wound above the eye of Papo Esco. You saw him swing wildly a couple times, but Esco didn't miss there with the kendo stick. Making the champion pay the price. Where and there is out? nothing that both the champion or the official can do about it. That kendo stick's going to be kindling by the time the night uh -huh. is done. But look at that. It's like a pineapple. That pineapple. That came straight from the bodega. Absolutely. Aisle three is produce. From right. the dusty shelves of the bodega using it like a weapon and i'll tell you that thing is not ripe that will do some damage oh, and now oh clean, clean up on aisle three <laughs> wearing out the champion and gilbert you might be right this is just the exact type of match for Popo to have the most success. He is, he, despite the blood pouring down his face, is taking it to the champion. He is making the benevolent oh. one, Jack Banning, fight his fight. Is Popo Esco, King Fat Boy, laying in the shots here? Uh oh, we might have a big See trade back hell. here. No, no drop, no hold that Raven would be proud of, and all that body weight goes down, and that's not going to do Papo oh Esco. Oh, my God, uh, mercy! Or that laceration, any favors, banning in control. This wild match continues right after this. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, 
it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. One West is about opportunity. One West is about honoring our community. One West is about economic development within the West End. From where I've gone to where I am now, there's no way possible without One West that I'll be there. One West is about revitalization. One West building together. Welcome back, everyone. After that drop toe hold before the break, and again, anything goes, you're watching a Bodega Street Fight, the second in the history of the United Wrestling Network. Papo Esco won the original. Will he win this oh one? Oh, my God. Uh, what in the world was that? I don't know, but it's, not, frame it's shattered now. Sandwich board. Yeah, oh. that just colliding with the ball bull-esque head of Papo Esco, and then Banning's got the crutch there, and if, if memory serves, that that's Slice Boogie's crutch. Yeah, oh, know. just using it right to the throat of Papo Esco. Usually the only sandwich the Bodega wants is a Mufaletta, but he got a, a big time punishment there and the throat. So now, Papo Esco, the challenger. He, he can perhaps not breathe after that shot. He's bleeding, how much is that taking from him? He, can, he probably can't even see out of one of his eyes, so vision becoming a problem. The loss of blood. And now the champ is putting the straitjacket on him. Oh, but putting a stop to it is Papo Esco doing what he can to keep fighting. But look, he keeps going to that eye. Oh, spikes him with the spine buster, does Esco. You Where's could feel the ground shake here in the improv, guys. Where is Esco finding this from? He's losing blood. He hit the chair. He's been, he had the crutch against the throat. Oh, well, turnabout is fair play look, in a bodega street fight. There is no doubt, TK, that uh, King Fatboy knows how to yeah. fight. Cinch it up, send him back, send him back to the asylum. And we got oh, come on. No surprise here. There's Honest. There's the institution. And this is what Papo Esco Lock him up. was worried about as oh, we came yeah. on the air. Oh, yeah. The champ's been in this position many times. It's medication time for banning, but here's Divine. Esco fighting off essentially all the institution right now, the free leg of banning. Remember, when we came on the air tonight, we saw Papo Esco asking, where is Slice Boogie? He wanted to make sure the bodega was going to have his back, knowing that the institution would put themselves in this match. Yeah, the champ numbers. fighting, trying to get the high ground, but taking the lowest of low shots there. But again, it's all legal, guys. Uh-oh, look out here. Too oh, much Papa's power. Got him. Oh, my God. There was no brace, no stop yourself. He's in a straight jacket. Take it out the trash, Kincaid. Absolutely, and take that TV title off of that psychopath. Finish him, Popo. Popo Finish now him. going for the cover. That's about one of the only rules is the way you can win oh, the match. Now that the wild pack of dogs, the institution, going to mar yet another match up here. And Banning's ability to control we need the, the, bodega. the minds of his minions is... He's something, I'll tell you that. Wild dogs. We need we need Slice and Danny Limelight. Where is Slice? Where is Danny right yeah. now? Because the bodega needs to have their brothers back. We need them to even the score here. Limelight successfully it's... defended the title last time out against Invictus Cash. Look out here. Oh my goodness, we're on the West Coast. I mean, Papo is out here alone, and there is nothing the ref or anybody else can do about it. Can he this do is it? a three-on-one street fight. Coast to coast. Unbelievable. Oh my God, the trash can just being mashed with malice into the head of Papo Esco. Where is the bodega? They've left Papo Esco out here to be a victim. There's the cover that's going to do it. No Limelight out oh, now. Punch a stop to the cover. Thank God for Danny Limelight. Better late than never. Oh, yeah, he saved him there. He saved his chances. Yeah. But, but guys, how much damage has been done? Exactly, indeed. Tons of damage. And now Honest John. Limelight. And Divine now, and it's Limelight, the world champion, is dividing and conquering. Trying to send all the institution back to their padded cells. Good on Danny Limelight. Now trying to take it to Banning, and he does. Where's Slice Boogie? Oh, look out, back in here, the two for one special. There it is, His new champion. No, not yet. Kicked out at two and three quarters. It's a still two on three, basically, out here. A still tactical deficiency for the Bodega, but... 
but Danny Limelight may have turned the tide enough. Oh God, the blood's really pouring down. I think the inmates really are ruling the asylum because this entire place is turned into one madhouse at the Irvine Improv. The roof is blowing off this place, TK. This is absolutely off the page. This bodega street fight. What's he got now? Uh-oh. You want to pay a the bell? Uh oh you can get now anything you want, including a beatdown and a good old-fashioned whipping. Good lashing. Oh my God, Savannah Stone out there. Oh, low blow, low blow. Went super low did Savannah Stone. Unbreakable she is, right? Well, she I, broke something. Yeah, she hit something very fragile on Papo Esco. And now Divine, oh, Divine and John. Oh, God, taking out the numbers game. Campbell. The numbers game, four where, on two here. It's where four. is Slice Boogie? Exactly. We it's need to send Slice in a hurry. Absolutely, where Slice, is Slice Boogie? Slice is in the main event still to come. He's in the triple threat golden opportunity finals, but I couldn't expect him to lead Papo Esco and Danny Limelight. I'm like being held hostage by the institution and forced to watch the decimation of Papo Esco. That Slice's cane. That is, uh, that Slice's crutch, I should say. It, it is, it, and oh, he, oh, no, and you got the guillotine in there with the straight jacket, and that's gonna do it, oh my goodness. No! Popo, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Five on two, four on two. Slice, of course, still has a match to come, guys, but I mean, how could he not come out for this? Slice, a no show for the bodega. Is he blinded by a golden opportunity? Slice left his brother's trail. Slice just cut him deep. We'll be back. Are you surprised that we're here? <laughs> I'm not. I told you what was going to happen. Back to back three ways for our land of Zicky Dice. You think that's a first? Hell no. And now that I'm warmed up, everything you know about the United Wrestling Network is about to change. When I get that golden ticket and put it right in this fanny pack, I will become the champion of the United Wrestling Network. Watch before your eyes. <laughs> In just a few short moments, I have a chance to beat a former Heritage Champion and embarrass another Bodega loser. <laughs> and when I do, I'm gonna punch my golden ticket to dethrone that ballerina dancing idiot, Danny Limelight. And that is pure gold. Zicky Dice, former Heritage Champion. Jordan Clearwater, former world heavyweight champion, but what about Slice Boogie, huh? I never won singles gold. As far as I'm concerned, they don't forgot about me no more. I ain't finna struggle no more. I'ma win the golden opportunity, and I'ma win that title. And Danny, you still holding that belt when my time comes? You better get down, or you're gonna have to lay down. I don't care if we brothers or not. Dead ass. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896.
It's main event time, and welcome back to Championship Wrestling. Todd Kennelly, James B. Cade, Gilbert Corsi, where we're literally trying to pick up the pieces after what we saw in that Bodega Street fight in which Banny found a way to retain against Popoesco, but we have to reshuffle the deck here. And somebody who's known for a card trick is this man, the outlandish one, Zicky Dice. He was a wild card, finds himself in the finals of the Golden Opportunity Tournament. I mean, I mean, that, what we just saw was absolutely bonkers. But yes, yeah, Zicky Dice, who I thought was the ultimate wild card in Golden Opportunity, but I think he got uh, trumped a little bit by Slice Boogie. champion before. In fact, he lost the title to Danny Limelight after Danny Limelight won this very tournament. Could the same saga play out for the Golden Boy now? Certainly looks to do just that to Jordan Clearwater for making some serious poetry in his favor here. Two guys that in their various title reigns, I believe, were proponents and probably read the prints from Machiavelli because for them, it was always the ends justify the means. What does that sign say? Golden sub what? Golden chicken? Golden sun big chicken. <laughs> All right. And here you see the wildest of wild cards, Slice Boogie. Now his music says Slice Boogie in the building. I was starting to question if perhaps he got caught in traffic, if he was in the building, because where on earth was he when his brethren Papuesco was getting beat down in that Bodega Street and, fight. And again, the only possible excuse I can think of is that he was so laser focused on this that he didn't know, but I do find that incredibly hard to believe. And still, no real excuse. He left the team out high and dry, poor Papuesco. But remember what Slice told us after he won the first Golden Opportunity Triple Threat. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is the finals of the 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament! <laughs> Introducing competitor number one from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 223 pounds, outlandish Zicky Dice! Introducing competitor number... Wait just a moment. What's this about from Jordan Clearwater, guys? Jordan Clearwater wants me to tell everyone that if you don't be quiet and stop chanting chicken, he's not going to take his robe off and show everyone what pure gold looks like. Clearwater in a foul mood. <laughs> You've been storing that one up for a while, haven't you? Oh, cinching the robe up tight. Keep it going, folks. Introducing competitor number two from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 235 pounds, the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. <laughs> Good for, you, good for you, Adnan. In that one. Oh no, Adnan, you gotta be careful. And introducing the third and final competitor from Queens, New York, weighing in at 232 pounds, the king of the concrete jungle, Slice Boogie! Proud firmly behind Slice Boogie. And what I was saying earlier, remember what Slice told us in the interview after he won the first golden opportunity triple threat. Really, he basically believes that Danny Limelight's success should be his. He seems a little bit bitter, almost jaded towards his brothers in the bodega. Well, you know, you, you saw it that Limelight said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you a shot at the Heritage title. And, and that is one of the most hotly contested titles in the United Wrestling Network, but it, it wasn't enough for Slice Boogie kind of shrugged that off. He's having some fun here. Now here's something you don't hear every day. Ironically enough, Clearwater had to earn his spot here more than his opponents because he had to win a qualifying match as well against Guy. The, the world sure. turned upside down. Oh boy, here we go. Buckle up. I didn't even see when he took the robe off, to be honest with you. I liked it better when they were chanting chicken. Always in uh, enemy territory here at the Irvine Improv is the former world champion, well, the there, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater. There is something about Jordan Clearwater that he just gets under your skin. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of friends, we'll say. He and the fans here at the Irvine Improv are truly like oil and water. I like 
no doubt about it. Oil goes pretty good with chicken, however. I, w I was, you know, thinking. You know, I never tried a sun baked chicken. Booze and cheers. Keto friendly. A, a booze and cheers aside, a grand prize in our business or our company is on the line here. The winner of this match will get a future title shot at the United World Championship. A triple triple uh, test of strength here. Uh, who's going to say mercy? Well, I think Zicky right now. Oh no! Look at Zicky. Dyson up. Oh, he used a little extra leverage there. Slice <laughs> boogie. Outlandish. Absolutely, like everything he does. I, w I wouldn't have uh, bet on, on Zicky to win this one. And Is he going to overpower both men? Boogie does just that. I mean, the, the boogie man isn't anything scarier than Slice. He has been unstoppable since returning. Again, the question has been how long did Slice Boogie know that he was going to be in this wild card position? He came back from several months off with a torn Achilles injury and came back in the best shape of his life. Did he know then? And, and did he, he know when he was training? And how maybe, long did he hide this from his team? And maybe he came back a, a, a different man, a different competitor, a different mindset. Why, that might be exactly why he kept it from them. And Slice finds himself in there with two guys that will take every shortcut and in this type of matchup, they can afford to. Again, triple threat scenario. You've got to isolate and conquer, get rid of one man. Unorthodox, outlandish stylings from Ziggy Dice, but effective, at least for the moment. Uh, did Jordan Clearwater going to take a page out of his book? Standing switch. This is a does the gyration help I, that? Is this going to happen? Gyration sensation. Slice, slice, don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, putting on the brakes there is Slice Boogie and trucks him. Double clothesline. Talk about a two-for-one special at the bodega. Yeah, bursting right through the line. And we got to take a break. Boogie in control. Who is going to earn the title shot? Who's going to earn the golden opportunity? I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Welcome back, everyone, to the finals of the 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament. Second annual. Last time, last year, it was the Brethren, and we, with, you say that with a question mark, uh, Danny Limelight of Slice Boogie who won the tournament. Look at this. Going upstairs, swinging a miss with that elbow drop and takes advantage, does Zicky Dice. And more than ever, when you're in there with Clearwater Dice, you got to have your head on a screen. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with so much on the line, you know they're going to sink to new lows somehow. I didn't think that was possible, but keep your keep your eyes open for that, just that. Zicky Dice had a 300-day reign as Heritage Champion. A lot of those victories were gained with questionable, some may say underhanded tactics. Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater cut from the same cloth when he was retaining the world title. Yeah, so I, if you're Slice Boogie, you're going to have to have eyes in the back of your head. I would say subterranean tactics. As now Slice Boogie enters the chat and puts the choke on Jordan Clearwater, and the sunbaked chicken's going to be turning beet red if he doesn't get out of this. Well, this is interesting bicep. here. This is a similar way that Danny Limelight was able to progress into the finals last year when he was in there with Shane Haste and Jack Banning, if you recall. That's right. Oh, into the cover is Zicky Dice. Deep leg hook. Clearwater able to get the shoulder up. You're right. It was it was double jeopardy there. Thinking, uh, speaking of things that, if you recall, oh. it's Slice Boogie that recalls that Danny Limelight only got the golden opportunity when he 
beat Slice with a handful of tights. Yeah, and I, I don't think that sits well with Slice. And I think a lot of times, as he does right now, Slice might think he's on the outside looking in. You got former TV and Heritage sure. Champion in, in uh, Zicky Dice, former World Champion and Heritage Champion, for that matter, in Jordan Clearwater. Slice is a former Tag Team Champion, but with the Bodega Freebird rules. And when you think of the Bodega, you got you got Popo, former TV Champion, and of course the reigning World Champion, Danny Limelight. Does that eat away at Slice Boogie? Todd, we were sitting right here. Unfortunately, Slice Boogie suffered an injury. He was on the outside looking in. He was on the on the shelf when all this great stuff happened for Danny Limelight. I, I think it's hard for an athlete for, not, for jealousy not to come creeping in. And I think, unfortunately, that is what's rearing its head in Slice Boogie right now. But right now, Zicky Dice is choking Slice Boogie on that second rope and a back rate to move. And Slice Boogie not finding any help from his bodega brethren right now. Oh, well, of course, I'm not very surprised by that because Slice left his bodega brethren out the pasture earlier tonight, nowhere to be found in that bodega street fight when Papa Wesco really needed his help with all the members of the institution just picking King Fatboy apart. Yeah, Slice, a no-show. Deciding to save himself for his own golden opportunity. Todd, like you said, selfish. I'm inclined to agree. And that just shocks me. Doesn't it shock you guys? Because if there's one person, you know, the bodega, they're brothers, and family's supposed to have your back. And blood is thicker than water or potential title shots. I'll tell you, the blood was flowing from the cranium of Papo Esco in that bodega street fight. And Slice was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found in a match. A bodega street fight. But right now, the finals of golden opportunity. Will it be Zicky Dice gyrating his way to his opportunity. Has, have the folks at Guinness Book of World Records been notified for the most hip gyrations in a single matchup? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're, we're setting records. But here's the deal. You are not going to win this triple threat match with swiveling your hips. These guys got to focus on the matter at hand. The golden opportunity is at stake. Swivel lit less, wrestle more. And, and Clearwater said that this is a event that was named after him. You gotta believe the Four, Golden Boy, the former five, world champion, feels six, so entitled. Seven, what would it do to his psyche nine, if he doesn't get the job done? Jim, well, what would what would it do for us if he if he does? There'll be no having him. Uh oh. Oops. Pointing to his head, they got him in the little golden eggs there. <laughs> yes. That goose is honking away right now. And now the outlandish one. Digging down deep and taking out both opponents oh, here. Gonna roll the dice. He's rolling some dice. Is he gonna hit the hard six? All right, he's got one. Stack the chips. Can he double up here? No! Oh, he crapped out. Snake eyes. Yes. As Slice there saying, Snake eyes, you trying to make a dupe out of me not having it. And now Slice Boogie swing and a miss, and Slice has been so impressive since coming back at that. Wow, the power! The flurry of offense here from Slice Boogie. What an emphatic snap German suplex from the outside, inside, and Slice is not done. Two for one! Yes! King of the concrete jungle, King of Golden Opportunity, no! Slice Boogie. Incredible combination, starting to build some momentum, but some frustration creeping in. And we've talked before about the, the sports psychology, and I think what we're seeing in Slice Boogie is what that year off really did to his psyche. Yeah. Oh, he was, he was thinking dead ass driver, and now that Achilles is gonna be uh, put to the test if this continues. Nice single leg pick there by the outlandish one. Double your pleasure, wow. double your fun. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that, he's gonna make a both oh. tap here. That's a Boston grab, Look not that. half crab. That's a full yeah, Boston crab. Two that, halves make a full, right? Yeah. That is a Boston That's crab. That's a full crab. A Boston crab buffet, courtesy of Zicky Dice. And look, Slice trying to stop the golden boy if he thought he was gonna that's, tap. That's smart, because if, if one of the two were to give first, my money would be on the golden boy. But he oh, they a fight out of it. Golden boy tapped at the red carpet rumble, didn't he? That's right. Try reminding him of that. Slice now, he's looking for that dead ass driver again, but nice defense there, changing levels, dropping to a knee. Sandbag City. Yeah, yeah. That's dead weight. Yeah. Trying to sell out for that driver. Zicky yeah. Guy's gonna make a pay here. Wow. Oh, neck, meet knee. Golden opportunity, meet Zicky. No. 
Clearwater makes the split second save, and that's proof positive, Gilbert, while you gotta have your head on a swivel in a match this like this. We talk, we talk sports idiots. psychology. We talk about you gotta incapacitate not only the guy you go for the cover on, but your opponent as well. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, it's nice late and conquer. But what I do wanna say is Zicky Dice is in trouble right now. Hook of the leg, could the Golden Boy Can I do it? win the golden opportunity? So close here. As I was saying it from Zicky Dice, who is down right now, is that you can't get distracted with his shenanigans. Big time. The, the chant record. goes out of Golden Chicken. I just wanted to uh, take a moment and appreciate that. The uh, the crowd here at the Irvine Improv oh. is the uh, the fourth man in this one. Now dead ass driver taking out both men. He does. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Was that in the junk? Was that in the junk? <laughs> Zicky? Is Bumbling he gonna go? No. Well, yeah, might have been a might have been a hair low. Zicky's gonna do a little more than twitch on that one. Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> my goodness, indeed. Yikes. So, I don't think I've ever said the junk in a broadcast. So cracked you know. dice on Zicky right now. <laughs> First Slice time for everything, Gilbert. Nearly winning golden opportunity. Oh, minus touch! Out of nowhere. Mercy! But look at that vet, whether it's luck or veteran instincts, he's out of there, Ooh, but he's still, Zicky. you still don't want to be on the outside looking in in a match Ooh. like this. Slice. If you're Slice Boogie, you're going to take the opportunity right now with Zicky seeing stars on the outside. Oh. And Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater goes to his favorite place, the low blow. Went super low. I think that makes all three have uh, taken some shots below the belt in this yeah. matchup, so we'll, we'll call it even, I guess. Swiveling hips and low blows are plenty in this one, and a huge opportunity on the line here. He throws Zicky back in. And I don't, I don't uh, see, do you agree with this? No, absolutely not. Keep, keep slice out there, right? Water, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want pick, both men Pick one not. and dissect. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, where did he come from? Invictus Cash. Oh, my goodness. Invictus Cash with a chair. Remember Re a couple of weeks Revenge. ago that Jordan Clearwater interfered in Invictus Cash's world title match against Danny Lundlach. And the out the back door. now for Slice. Oh, looking to reverse him. Here he does. That's step one. Statue of misery. Did oh, he get it up? Did he, he get it up? Indeed, perhaps. Yes. Here is your winner of the 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament, Slice Boogie. Slice has won a title shot, CK. Unbelievable Clearwater pain for his past sins. Cash might be king, but he just crowned his former partner. Revenge, best serve, pulled hard, Cash! But Slice Boogie now has a future title shot against the world champion, Danny Lonlot. Unreal, are we gonna see the Bodega Brethren battle for the title? That remains to be seen, he's in that position. Slice Boogie wins the 2023 Golden Opportunity, cashes in as Ladies a wild Ladies and gentlemen, card. your winner of the 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament, who has a guaranteed opportunity at the United World Championship, Slice Boogie! The stage is set for a Bodega Brawl. It sure is, and now, speaking of, here you see it. If a picture's worth a thousand words, and if, 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 saying, if, what's going on? If looks could kill, we'd be pushing up daisies. My goodness, who could have ever foreseen this? Slice Vega. Boogie wins the golden opportunity, but will he cash it in against his hermano? What a golden opportunity it was. We'll pick up the pieces and feel the shockwaves next week.